hello everyone my name is arohi and welcome to my channel so guys in my today's video i'll show you how to perform custom key point detection using yolo v7 pose so key point detection is a computer vision task that involve identifying and localizing the points of interest or key points on an image okay and models like detectron 2 yolo v7 yolo v8 they are designed to detect only a specific number of key points that is 17 key points of a person class and if you want to use yolo v7 pose or yolo v8 pose or detectron 2 on custom data set then you have to do few changes uh, in that model architecture and then you have to prepare the data set which that particular model accept so today i'll show you how to prepare data set which yolo v7 pose accepts okay and then i'll show you what are the changes required in yolo v7 pose to run your custom um, key point detection model so let's begin so guys over here you can see the data set which i'm using for today's class is glass data set so it has only one class glass and we are working on four key points so you can see here one two three four these are the four key points and our class name is glass and we are also having a bounding box so this is what we are going to do in our today's class so first i will show you how to prepare data set for yolo v7 pose okay so guys for that okay let's go here only over here so coco annotator so the first thing is which annotation tool to use for key point annotations right so what i am using is coco annotator tool so to use this tool uh, what you need to do is first clone this github repo okay this coco annotator uh, github repo you have to clone it and i have mentioned the steps in my repo also under this data preparation you can see okay guys first of all install docker if you don't have it on your pc so you can install docker and from here you can follow the steps and once you have docker installed these are the three four lines which you need to execute to run coco annotator tool so first step is to clone the official github repo of coco annotator then we will enter in that repo and then you have to run this docker compose up that's it after running this command just open your browser and paste this link over there so let me show you the coco annotator over here so so i have already logged in and this is my page so once uh, so first time when you will um, use this coco annotator you have to register and then you will log in and then you will see this kind of page and by create by clicking on this create you can create the data set and this for more detailed steps you can see here in my repo i have given the link you can follow this link to learn step by step how to annotate your data set okay so after this step after this step um your annotator tool will open up coco annotator tool and by following this video you will learn how to annotate the um, key points okay so once you done that you will have a json file coco annotator tool provides you a json file of your annotation you will get one annotation file and in that one annotation file you will have all your annotations so let me show you my annotation file to give you an idea so let's see here okay yeah over here so this is my coco annotator tool i have cloned and i followed the steps which i've told you to follow and my final data set will look like this so this glass data set this folder is um, is having all those images which i'm using for training okay so let me show you so these are the different images i am only using 87 images so guys this is just um, this is a very small data set this will not give you good results i'm just showing you the way how you can perform custom key point detection okay so i have my images over here and this is my corresponding annotation file so this is how your file will look like under this images you will see the detail of all the images all 87 images okay let's scroll down 
okay yeah over here over here images um, we have all the images still here then inside this category you will see our category is only one we are working on a one class so that's why i have uh, one class over here glass okay and then under this annotations you will have the key point annotations for all your 87 images okay so you can see one by one this is a bounding box coordinates and these are the key points okay so inside key points you can see that we have values so we have four key points so three values means one key point so this is the x uh, x coordinate y value and this is the visibility visibility is two okay so three values is for one key point uh, key point okay so this is for second key point this is for third key point and this is for fourth key point and you can see here also that we have four key points on uh, one image okay and guys one more thing to note over here is that inside my b box you will see the values as zero so this is uh, what happens is i forgot to you know plot the annotate the bounding boxes through coco annotator tool so what i've done is i have separately annotated my bounding boxes okay but what you can do is while annotating um, your images for key points so at the same time you can you know uh, draw the bounding boxes also okay but otherwise you have to you also have to do the extra step which i've done separately okay so we will fill these four values later i'll show you how i did that okay so right now the important thing is you will get the key points like this for all the 87 images because in my training data i have 87 images so these are the different 87 annotation key point annotations i have okay so you have a json file now now the next step is once you have that now the next step is to convert this json file into a yolo format because yolo accepts data in different format for every image you need a text file right and um, even one more thing to tell you the values over here you can see right so we also need to normalize these values okay so for normalization you can there are various techniques by using which you can normalize your data right so um, once you have this you have to convert your data set into yolo format also before saving your values in a text file you have to normalize your data okay so now let me show you the next steps okay so guys okay one more thing for converting your annotation into yolo i have given this link you can follow this link let's open this link from here you will get an idea how to convert the json um, you know json annotation into a yolo format okay just follow this um, um, issue and you will see over here by following this code you can have a separate text file for each image okay and uh, that's how you will get your separate annotation files now let me show you my data set so next step is over yes in this so let me show you my data set the final data set which we will give to yolo uh, v7 pose okay so this folder is having my data set so images and labels inside images we have two folder train and validation and inside labels also we have two folder train and validation inside train we are having the annotation files for all images so i have 87 images so these are 87 different annotations okay now let me open one annotation file and show you so this is my class id and this first second third fourth these are the bounding box coordinates so uh, guys i have told you like i missed this step in coco annotator so what i did is using label img tool i um i annotated my images for bounding boxes and then i concatenated both the uh, files key point uh, text file and the this bounding box file i concatenated it okay so now i have uh, bounding box coordinates over here and this 
वन वैल्यू सेकेंड वैल्यू एंड देन दिस टू एक्स कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ फर्स्ट की पॉइंट वाई ऑफ फर्स्ट की पॉइंट एंड विजिबिलिटी ऑफ फर्स्ट की पॉइंट सो वी हैव फोर की पॉइंट्स सो यू विल सी द वैल्यूज लाइक दिस एंड गाइज इवन ओवर हेयर यू कैन सी दैट माई वैल्यूज आर नॉर्मलाइज बिटवीन जीरो टू वन ओके सो दिस इज हाउ योर फाइल लुक Uh, should look like okay then only yolo v7 pose will accept your data set so for every file for every text file you will see these kind of annotations okay so inside images inside train you will have training images and inside value you will have validation images so this is my final data set which um, we are providing to our yolo v7 pose now what all these files and folders are from where you can get this code so for that just when your data set is ready see guys i have mentioned over here just clone the github repo my github repo okay and then enter in that github repo install all the requirements and place your data set folder in that repo the way i placed it over here so this is my data set folder i placed in the yolo v7 pose repo and guys the code the code which i'm using over here this code i took this code from uh, this repo and this repo okay these these two um, you know uh, repos help me lot to execute this custom code okay so now we place the data set over here okay let's go back to the folder okay now the next thing is open the cfg folder inside the cfg folder you will have this when you'll clone this github repo you will have this file already uh, in that just copy it and then rename it to this custom underscore custom in the last okay let's open it and see what we have in this so you have to write the number of classes and the number of key points as per your custom problem so in my case i have one class glass so that's what i've written over here and four means i have four key points okay so these are the changes you need to do and then the second change is open this data folder inside this data folder you can see i have this custom key points dot yaml okay open this when you will open this you can see this is a path this is where my data set is and then we are providing the path of uh, images which we are using for training our algorithm then the path of images which we are using for validation okay and the number of classes one class name is this and the key points are four so these two things which you need to do okay these are the two things so now you have done with this and this now i have a uh, let me show you the code now so this solution Uh, dot uh, this is my jupyter notebook so in this jupyter notebook i have simply executed the three commands first command is this command is to train our algorithm this to test and this one is to detect okay so first i'm showing you how to train it so we are using a train.py file this is already present in our github repo and then over here we are providing our custom key point data and for configuration we are providing our uh, custom configuration file which is in cfg folder and then device 0 means i'm using gpu key point label this is important this you have to write while training and testing and detecting your model okay and i'm training my model for 600 epochs once your training done your data will be stored in runs folder now let's open the runs folder train and this one okay so you can see here this is the result okay and then over here inside weight you can get the weights last and best weight i'm using the best weight uh, to perform the detections i'll show you in a minute okay and these are the training batches you can see some of the images okay so this kind of folder you will get so now we are done with the training next step is to detect to detect we are using a detect.py file from the github repo and then over here we are providing the weights of our custom model so our custom model which we have just trained 
best.pt this is the path from run to the best.pt file and key point label i told you that if you are working on a key point detection problem then you have to write this source over here i'm writing uh, image in the same way you can give a if you want to work on multiple images at same time then you can give the folder name also okay and this is the confidence score and i you are mentioning so i have trained on a very little data set so that's why i'm writing a very small confidence value okay just to show you the key points on the images so we are using a very small value so let's execute it and go back to the detect folder and this is the latest one and let's open it and you can see the result so we have four key points one two three four and we have the bounding box around it so guys this is how you can work on your custom problem okay so uh, the github link is given in description section you can try this code and guys if this video is helpful Please uh, like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.